Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share this thing, this word from the Lord with you all before I turn in for the night. I'm I'm just so behind in my email, and I I've been going to the top ones <laughs> instead of going starting at the bottom. I do that when I get behind, and I think, no, no, you just start at the bottom anyway. So this is a few days old. Today is Monday, April 26th, and it's 8.34 p.m. And this message that I found this evening, again, is called Put On Your Wedding Garments by Just Praise Him on April 19th, 2021, 8.10 a.m. All right, this says a prophetic message given to Ray... Bergman and recently shared on his blog Innocence Redeemed see link below okay let's see if she put the link this was copied and pasted into an email and there's no link below but perhaps if you wanted to see it again whatever I will copy and paste this into the description box, okay? Um, okay, so on his blog, he relates the story of how he received this word. All right, it starts here. I desire my people to, I desire my people be dressed in the proper garments for my wedding feast. Many of my children have chosen not to hear, not to see. They do not make time for me. They could know my way for them, but they choose not. They are too blinded by worldly pleasures to understand I am all they need. Many of my people would have so much of what I desire if they would only seek my instruction, do my will, and spend time in my presence. My son, because you have made the time for me, you know my word. I am established in your heart. For every time you study, it is written. You have endured so much that you already have in your heart what I desire for you and how you live. For it is me working within you and providing your direction. It is through your faith in me you are living my word and my ways I would desire all of my children would do this many of my children are looking for answers but are not willing to submit to my refining my son though you show much mercy you cannot do this for them they can have as much of me as is desired, but they must choose. Many would have my blessing if they chose to believe my word for what it says. Those who truly desire my presence will continue to seek me, and they shall find for I will reveal myself. I desire they be dressed in the proper attire. They have not made enough time by, cut, by cutting out the distractions and making time to understand. You must tell them, my son, for you have been there and can explain it in such a way that can be understood. 
those who do not have on the proper attire for the wedding feast shall not enter. Put on your wedding garments. Obviously, that's a metaphor for if you're living right, you're obeying him and his words. Your light is shining. It's not hiding under a bushel that, you know, you just glow already. You like exude love. Happiness, joy, sure, we're gonna all going to have down days, uh, some sad times, especially now with some of our loved ones, many of our loved ones taking the M-A-R-K. I mean, seriously, how can we not be sad, but we can't. Let it extinguish our light. They made their choice. And if they didn't know, then it was, they fall under the category of my people perish for lack of knowledge. They had a Bible, they went to church, their pastors didn't teach them. Well, they didn't bother to ask for the Holy Spirit to let him be their teacher. If they had read the word yourself, they would have seen that. And on and on, I could preach all night. If you have any questions, you ask me and I'll try to find it. But seriously, I hope you'll take it to the Lord if you have questions. And do some research on your own. Just type in your favorite search engine. What does it mean? Blah, blah, blah. And then it'll probably give you a list of uh, places you can go. Blue Letter Bible doesn't ever seem to turn up. Seems to be Bible Gateway. You might get a website. Um, trying to think of the one. .questions.org is a common one that pops up. Be careful with the website. Some of them are real good. Got questions is good, but I don't agree on everything they say. Does that make me perfect? No. It just means that on some subjects, I have learned from the rhema word and the written word that it's it's not the way they're saying it, and I and so that takes learning, discernment, the Holy Spirit, wisdom. You must pray for these things. Always, we need to have all the wisdom He'll give us. And all the discernment that that he, he'll give us. We must constantly be asking to be filled with, you, with the Holy Spirit. Even if you already have been. I say it a lot. And normally I start praying in tongues when I do. But that's just, I just feel the need to do that. I, I don't read as much as I feel like I should because it's becoming too difficult. It's so blurry, and this is even bigger than usual, and I'm at, at our time with it. And I don't want to make excuses. I know there's, there's videos that will read it to you, but honestly, I do better listening and reading. You know, like when a pastor's reading, and you're following along, and then he gives the explanation. Well, now I know we, we can't rely on one man standing at a pulpit to tell us all the answers. Because they don't know them all. They skip over parts they don't know. So then when you go back later one day and you're reading over a chapter and you come to those parts that got skipped, and you're going to be like, I don't remember that verse. What does that mean? You're going to be left lacking, aren't you? You're going to have to have the Holy Spirit to help you. 
So there, there had to be a reason I was supposed to do this and say these things because I sure wasn't planning on it. So I'm going to end it here and um, I'm just going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this, this video and the message and that whoever needed to hear it will take it to heart and learn from it. And I pray that we are all found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. I just I pray that with all my heart. And I pray it's any day now. Could be tonight. Tonight is that full pink moon. I, how much I wish. Well, so I'll plead the blood of Jesus so reach and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.